Hello and hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more Rocket League news out there. This of course breaking down the Rocket League eSports store now launching on the 16th. It was actually debuted yesterday thanks to Psyonix and uh, classic Rocket League fashion. A bit of controversy around this one which I'm really curious what you guys think about this. Obviously a pretty big ploy out there to help pro players which I'm you know a big fan of right. Pro players deserve support in every eSport out there but the way that Psyonix and team went about doing this is definitely stirring up a bit of the pot out there and I'm very curious what you guys thoughts are on this. Of course the main thing being tokens are now into the market much like overwatch much like fortnite they are not the same currency they're actually their own premium currency and therefore the things you buy with these tokens are no longer tradable and either are the tokens so that's a very interesting thing very interesting approach of course that is a bit of a money grab but i will say any money grab that helps the pro players i'm going to be a bit of fan of so of course it does also on top of that seem a lot like fomo right the fear of missing out when it, especially when it comes down to these items six items per day it refreshes everything every 24 hours and most of those items will only last 24 hours now some they did say they didn't specify how many or uh, which of them will actually will each and every week maybe they will as the weeks go on some of those items will actually last a full 48 hours but it's definitely going to be a lot of peer pressure out there to buy the items if you even slightly think you want it you're gonna have to buy it before it's it's just totally gone so that is a very interesting aspect right I, I think it's uh you know it avoids a lot of backlash because like I said before you're at least feeding the pro players a little bit although I will say I feel very bad bad for the few teams out there. I believe five teams. 11 of the 16 have actually been placed in the store for now. I think in coming weeks, we hopefully will have a few teams added, but I cannot confirm that whatsoever. A lot of talk out there as to why PSG as well as FCB or Barca. There was a comment on last video that got mad at me for saying FCB, so I'll be calling them Barca or Barcelona from now on. I was actually a bit surprised they were not in there, mainly because uh, PSG has been around for quite some time. You know, Barca makes a little bit more sense. I cannot tell you guys exactly why that uh, the contract Actually, they cannot actually get into the store itself. I can tell you though, for one thing, I do expect Barca to be in the store at least for next season. So those negotiations are probably going on. Likely PSG though is a completely new story. I have no idea why they couldn't get in the store. Um, they also have Space Station Gaming. It's a really kind of a uh, kind of sad. They just got signed, so maybe it's the recency of that signing where they couldn't submit things on time. And then of course, very lastly as well, our two unorg teams that of course going to be Triple Trouble and alongside them the Bricks. They also unfortunately will not get spots in the store. Store. I say unfortunately because it does seem I was hoping uh, again this is not confirmed fully maybe in the future they will get in the store although it seems unlikely without an org that you can actually get in the store for some reason because 30% of the revenue is supposed to go to the orgs not directly to the players but to the orgs with additional percentages actually going to prize pools as well I feel really bad for the unorg teams out there triple trouble alongside the bricks because they're already not being paid and now this is them further not being paid so that that's just really unfortunate but that's apparently Apparently how it has to be. So overall, my thoughts, I think overall generally pretty good. The way they went about doing it, it seems to be, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, I can't really judge it too much because a lot of other games out there do the same tactics of bringing in a new currency, a new premium currency, which is not tradable. You actually have to buy the currency as well. It's 99 cents per hundred tokens. And of course you get token deals as you pay for more. I'm more so curious what you guys think about this. It seems like you're going to get pretty hyped up on the, on the items. You know, it depends on if you can actually wait out for items. If you can't wait, though, you're going to be buying a lot of different items. So, you know, I think overall it's a good move. Definitely an interesting move out there and one that was going to be probably made in the future no matter what. Uh, but, yeah, what do you guys think? As always, my name is Jake. I will see you back here Monday, guys, to break down, of course, week two of uh, RLCS for NA as well as EU. So, hope you guys all enjoy. Until next time, take care. And on the 16th, spend your money.